NASA is staring down a doomsday scenario, an asteroid the size of a city could collide with the moon. The event could kick up a storm of debris and could destroy satellites, space stations, and future space missions. Our next report explains how there are plans to destroy the asteroid using a nuclear bomb. Asteroid 2024 YR4 first terrified astronomers last Christmas. Detected just two days after passing Earth at barely twice the moon's distance, it initially carried a 3% chance of striking our planet. Now that has been ruled out, and the new trajectory of the asteroid shows that it is heading towards the moon. The stakes couldn't be higher. A direct hit wouldn't just scar the moon. It would unleash a vast cloud of micrometeoroid debris that floods low Earth orbit. A deadly hazard for robotic eyes and astronauts alike. This could cripple critical space infrastructure and disrupt scientific exploration. Traditional tactics won't cut it. NASA's first instinct to nudge the rock away with a spacecraft like DART was considered, but the asteroid's uncertain weight and mass make precise deflection almost impossible. Time is ticking fast, so NASA is mulling the nuclear option. Two 100 kiloton nuclear bombs, that's five to eight times bigger than the one exploded over Hiroshima. The plan is to detonate the nuke near the asteroid, shattering or diverting it before it hits. The explosion would impart enough energy to disrupt the asteroid's path without simply turning it into more deadly fragments. This bold move, never tried before in space, could buy humanity critical time and protect the moon and Earth's surrounding space. But the nuking plan is controversial. It demands leaps in technology, diplomacy and funding and much more thorough research to fully understand the risks and rewards. The political implications are staggering. International treaties would need rewriting, global consensus would need building. And all of this while the clock ticks toward December 2032, when the asteroid is scheduled to hit our moon. Bureau report, We on World is One.